In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a surgeon scrub cap step by step. You will need several things. First, you will need paper to make the pattern. All measurements below are in inches. You will also need 9 inches of cotton fabric with standard 44 inch width and 3 inches of elastic band. Also black and red thread. Please wash dry and iron fabric before you start cutting because it will shrink. Once you cut out your paper pattern, you will need to place it on the fabric. Uh, your side part of the cap needs to be um, aligned with the fold in the fabric. Here on the right, you see that the white part of it um, is aligned with the fold and the whole uh, side part is actually placed on two layers of fabric. The top part of hat is on the single layer of fabric. Once you cut your fabric, make sure to mark where you will connect part of cap to side part of your cap in the back. I used pins to mark where I will connect the top part of my cap to the side part of my cap in the back on both ends of the side part of my cap. Use hot iron to fold the curved edges of the side part one time, beginning at your pins and all the way to the side uh, of the cap. Use a hot iron to fold the curved edge the second time, beginning at first pins in the wider part of the side part of cap and ending at beginning of straight end on both sides of the side part of the cap. You can see that uh, this beginning or straight part is marked by pins also. Use hot iron to fold the edges at both short sides of straight ends and bottom of the side part of your cap. Use the exact stitch to secure curvy parts of your side piece between the pins. Use hot iron to fold bottom of side part to your cap toward the wrong side of fabric, making sure your ends are folded into and edges are aligned. Use the exact stitch to sew edges of ties of your cap together and bottom fold of your cap to the side part of your cap, starting at one end, going along the bottom of the cap and ending at the other end. I prefer to use the exact stitch because it will not break when my surgeon pulls on ends of his cap to tie the cap in the back in a hurry. Use hot iron to fold the bottom of top part of your cap first one time, then the second time to create a tube for elastic band. Use straight stitch to make a tube for elastic band. Cut 3 inches of elastic band and attach a safety pin to one end of it. Next step is to secure elastic band inside the tube of fabric. Stick elastic band, safety pin first, into the fabric tube and move it toward the other end. When the end of elastic will align with the end of your fabric tube, secure it with a pin. When your safety pin is out of the fabric tube and the second end of the elastic band aligns with the end of fabric tube, secure elastic band with a pin. Once both edges of your elastic band are secured with pins, remove safety pin. Now you need to fold the top of your cap part into lengthwise. Find the middle and mark it with a pin. Then fold the side part of your cap into widthwise. Find the middle and mark it with a pin also. Put the top of cap part and the side of cap part together face to face and align the middle pins. Pin top part and side parts of your cap together in that point. With, with side part of your cap being on top, pin it to the top part of your cap. Pins should be 3 quarters of an inch apart. Use straight stitch 1 quarter of an inch from the fabric edge to connect the top part of your cap and the side part together. Side part is on top. Pull pins out before they reach the needle. Use your fingers to hold fabric in place and together. When you finish the straight stitch, 
flip the cap over, change settings to zigzag and stitch around the top of head. Keep your needle on the fabric. Do zigzag stitch all the way around the connection of top and side parts of the cap. When you finish zigzag stitch, tie the ends of your threads into a knot and hide the tails into a seam using a head needle. That's how I do it. Use hot iron to iron the seam toward the side part of your cap. Starting at elastic band, make a decorative finishing stitch along the seam which connects top part of the cap to the side part of your cap. Congratulations, this is your finished cap. This is how the back of your cap looks with ends tied together. This is how my cap looks in the front. This cap is for sale. Message me in comments.